What is up YouTube? Welcome to another episode and this is Zero to Euro episode 4 and uh, we kickstart today with selling some of the silvers that were left over from the other episode. This is Ayma Aymen um, Abdinur. He's a centre back for Toulouse. We bought this guy for 450 coins, sold him for 1.7k and we made a profit after tax of 1,165. So making profit or double what we bought him for in profit is wonderful and the sort of profits we need early on. Next we go on to a CSKA right mid called Olise, I think his name is. Uh, we bought him for 400 coins, sold him for 1,200 and that gives us a profit of 740 coins after tax. Again, decent profit, more than we bought him for and um, the sort of profit we need from these silvers. Also, which is kind of cool, um, a random bronze player sold. This is Gilberto. Uh, for 200 coins and uh, this is my goal as I said in the previous episodes I do want to get rid of my starter pack because I've never done that before in a trading series Alvarez was yet to sell so I had to put him up for another day and as you can see he has finally sold so we bought this guy for 500 coins sold him for 1200 and that gives us a profit after tax of 640 coins so we eventually sold him he was actually quite hard to sell which was um, a surprise to me but a good player and uh, a decent profit on him also while we um, sold that player we also got rid of Stephen Gleason and we sold him for 200 coins so another random bronze player sold so as you can see there I do show two of the players I have bought um, among other players as well so um, I'm just going to go through these players that are put into the um, the watch or uh, this uh, trade pile area even and uh, this is the first one we bought which is uh, Christian Bermudez and um, this guy is normally a cam but this uh, is converted to centre mid he plays for America in the Premier Div Mex League and he is Mexican and um, this guy is a beast at, uh, at cam and we got him for centre mid and this is Marco Fabian so another guy from Primera Divmax again converted from a cam to a CM and that's an area I kind of like to exploit it's got to be said um, I've done it before many many times and got a lot of good profit from that so they're the two players that I have um, bought the more expensive players I have bought so this player uh, we bought for 4.9k Bermudez and I'm hoping to get around six and a half thousand coins for him hopefully he will sell. I'm going to put him up for around uh, 12 hours or so and then we move on to uh, Bermu um, on Fabian so we bought Fabian for 3000 coins and I think we should get around uh, 5 odd K for him uh, the only issue with converted players is their prices do differ a lot. You can get a player worth 8k one day, next day 4, next day 3. Um, it is quite random. It all depends on how many you got on the market. These are the other players I did buy with the money. So it weren't just those two. These are the others. And this is Luke Rogers. And he plays for New York Red Bulls. Uh, a good player. And as you can see, 5 goals in 4 games. Very overpowered in this game. We got him for 650. Should make a decent profit on him. And I'm going to put him up for 1.5k bin. Then we go over to Fabian. Um, to Fabian. To uh, Fagna even. And this is the second time that we've um, bought Fagna. We bought him for 450 coins. And he's a very solid player to buy. Especially early on. You can make at least a good um, K or so from this player. And um, you can always get him under usually 500 coins so I'm going to put him up for 1.3 bin move over to Johnny Russell this guy is a gem of a player so quick so underrated as well and that plays for Dundee in the SPL 92 pace that I see uh, that I showed right there and uh, we bought him for 650 coins and we should easily uh, make some decent profit on him I put him up to 1.8k bin Next one is Fernandez, and the striker plays for Feyenoord in the area de Vise, and another talented player, good striker, good pace, and we got him relatively cheap for around 350 in a good formation as well, and I'll put him up for 1.3k bin as well. On to one of the last players is uh, Czech Mbegwe, and uh, we got him for 500 coins uh, in a 4 triple 2 formation, and he's uh, the Toulouse left back, a very good left back, and one of the best in the uh, French Liga 1 so he should um, sell and uh, we should make some hopefully some solid profit on this player 
so I put him up for around I think around 9, 950 then on to Nathaniel Klein and this guy is a beast of a right back, if no one used him do go and buy this guy um, if you've got a championship side got him in a 4 triple 2 formation, plays for Crystal Palace and uh, we got him relatively cheap and uh, we should make decent profit, we got him for 550 and we're selling him for 1.3k then we go over to another player we bought which is Kim Ju Young, one of my favourite defenders in this game obviously with the 86, def um, 86 pace I think it is, or 84 pace he is very very quick, got him for 550 coins, easily should make profit, it's in a good formation and we put a bin of 2.5k on him and last but not least uh, Jonathan Perea, the player that plays for uh, Real Betis in the Liga BBVA and we got him quite cheap in his natural centre forward position got him for 350 coins and because of that pace of around 89 um, he's easily going to sell and we'll put him up for around I think around 1 to uh, one to 1.3k so that is all the players we've sold and sorry if I went too quick um, there's a lot of players there as you can see and hopefully we can make some solid profit which we'll get back to you when they're sold okay and, and as you can see um, we've got eight in the trade pile so that means a, a few of them have sold and let's go through them first one is uh, Johnny Russell we bought him for 650 we sold him for 1800 that's a profit of 1060 coins for him um, making over a K profit on uh, on a player especially a silver player is exactly where we want um, these players to be selling for making some decent profits and um, a very good player to trade with as well also Bermuda sold for 6.5k we bought him for 4.9 so that gives us a profit of 1275 so we made 1k off this player and um, as I said the market does differentiate quite a lot um, sometimes you could get even more than that sometimes you could get, could get a lot less um, it is hit and miss but we made a decent profit and 1k on him isn't bad we go over to Fagner. We bought him for 450, sold him for 1.3. That's a profit of 785 coins. Um, again, a really solid profit. We're making more money, uh, profit after tax, than we are what we bought the player for. And um, another solid buy. Again, as I said earlier, very good player to trade with. Nathaniel Klein, we bought him for 550. We sold him for 1.8k. That is a profit after tax of 1,160 coins. Um, doubling our money from pretty much what we bought him for nearly um, some again beautiful profit and um, another really solid player to trade with go over to Kim Ju Young uh, we bought him for 550 we sold him for 2.5k there's a profit of 1825 just under 2k for uh, one player in pure profit is wonderful and um, I got incredibly lucky buying this player for that sort of price Next we go to uh, Guyon Fernandez. We bought him for 350, sold him for 1.3k, and that is a profit of 885 coins. 800 coins profit on a player we bought for 350 is wonderful profit. Um, also, the other player we took a gamble on, sold. We bought him for four, um, 3,000, sold him for 5.2. That is a profit of 1,940. So under 2k, just in profit on another player and we're getting some really good um, solid profits so far in this series and uh, another reason why I do um, converted um, position players check and beg way we bought for 500 sold for 950 and profit of 402 probably one of the lowest profit players that we have done um, so far in this episode but then again a profit is a profit and anything anything counts at the end of the day so a few of them didn't sell, that is the total amount, 11,877 coins, and uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this episode, please do give it a like, do check out my links, which is on the screen and in the description, and sorry this has been quite long, it is a bumper edition, hopefully I'll see you in the next episode, and don't forget to like, and I will see you again, peace.